Here's how I can make this quick and easy brush animation here in After Effects. Create a new composition, rename it as brush. Let's go with three seconds, light background, click OK. I'm gonna go with 1080p, click OK. Let's select the type tool. I'm gonna type in Panther. By the way, I went with the Passion 1 Black. Press the letter S to scale it up. And right now I'm gonna recolor it as something light. I'm gonna go with red and click somewhere here to deselect the text. Let's select the pen tool. And let's go to the fill, click on the fill text, click on the none, click OK, and click on the stroke and select the solid color. And I'm gonna go with uh, some dark gray, click OK. And here you can increase the stroke thickness and all you need to do is just start drawing some strokes on the text. Now don't worry about the sharp edges, we're gonna correct that later. Now let's go to the shape layer, contents, open up the shape one, open up the stroke one, and here we got the line join, and change it to bevel join. Now we're gonna collapse this, drag the shape layer under the panther text. Now you also can arrange the paths if you want, make sure that you're on the pen tool and select one of these paths and just rearrange them however you like. I gotta delete this ending, so I gotta select this pad, press on delete, and so it's gonna look something like this. Now in order to animate it, we're gonna go to the shape layer one, open up, and add trim path. Now let's scroll down, open up the trim path, and here we got the end. Make sure that you're in the beginning, decrease the end to 0%, activate the stopwatch of the end, and bring it to the first second, and bring the end all the way to 100%, Select both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease, bring it back, hit play, and there you go. Let's collapse the shape layer one. Select the shape layer one, and we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur, drag and drop the Gaussian blur on the shape layer one, and also type in roughen, and drag and drop the roughen edges under the Gaussian blur. And you also can increase the blurriness a little bit more so you can get some wilder results but i'm going to decrease them and you can modify here the stretch width and height for example scale you can scale it up so now it looks more organic and this is how i make this brush effect here in after effects thanks for watching